We're in Beaumont, Texas today. <clears throat> We're here to visit the grave of the Big Bopper, Giles Perry Richardson Jr., who was known as JP. First, we're going to visit his old high school and see if we can find the old radio station he worked at. Both of them are closed, so we'll see what happens. Welcome to Beaumont, Texas. We're at the end of Pecos Street. And this used to be Beaumont High School from 1930 to 1975. It was finally closed in 2018 after being damaged by Hurricane Harvey in 2017. JP sang in the school choir and played on the football team. He graduated from here in 1947. Giles Perry Richardson Jr. was known as JP, but he's most often known as the Big Bopper. He was born October 24, 1930 in Sabine Pass, Texas. He died February 3, 1959 in Clear Lake, Iowa in a plane crash. After graduating from Beaumont High School in 1947, he studied law at Lamar College while he was working at KTRM Radio. He later served two years in the Army after being drafted. After the Army, he returned to KTRM and kicked off his show as the Big Bopper. He wrote songs and hit the pop charts with Chantilly Lace. JP also wrote number one hits for George Jones, White Lightning. George Jones also worked at the radio station. And he had another friend named Johnny Preston who did Running Bear. We're in the downtown area where the original KTRM studios were. They were on the 200 block of Orleans Street, but there's nothing here to indicate where the studios would be. It was originally uh, programmed as a country music station. JP made his debut in 1949 as an announcer and George Jones also worked there. We're at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Beaumont, Texas. The Big Bopper was born October 24, 1930 in Sabine Pass, Texas. He died February 3, 1959 in Clear, Clear Lake, Iowa, the day the music died. That's, that's what Don McLean stated in his American Pie. the day of the music died. 
the tour bus broke down in Iowa, so Buddy Holly chartered a plane. He took JP and Richie Valens with him. The plane crashed five miles later. Everyone died. JP had the flu, so Waylon Gen Jennings voluntarily gave him his seat. In Texas, they have historical markers at the cemetery, and this is the one for JP. J.P. Richardson, Jr., the Big Bopper. At the age of 28, married with two children, rock and roll star J.P. Richardson joined a group of young musicians on a, another national tour. Tragically, on February 3rd, 1959, their plane crashed in Iowa, killing him and fellow artists Buddy Holly and Richie Valens. And right behind the historical marker is the actual grave. It says, in loving memory, Giles P. Richardson, Jr., the Big Bopper, October 24th, 1930, to February 3rd, 1959. People have left flowers here and coins. <laughs>